so hey what's up guys we're here on a little nice day on a nice friday we got the bubble out here and we got the coop what we're gonna be doing is cleaning them up as you can see it hasn't been well taken care of on the inside the thing that's driving me crazy right now is this engine bay as you can see it's filthy beyond words so what i'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go crazy, but I am gonna go through everything and try to get this as clean as I can. What we're gonna be using is purple power on a Harbor Crate sprayer. Uh, no distillation, straight raw. This is key right here. This brush helps you get in the nooks and crannies. So let, let's, let's stop talking and let's get to it. I'm gonna start on this side. Like I always say, I never, never go cheap. If I gotta waste this and go buy another one, so be it. When you go cheap and you, you start to, you know, try and save a little money here and there, that's when, you know, you're like, damn, I could have done a better job. So I'm going to spray that down, I'm going to give it a couple of seconds to soak and we're going to do it with the brush. This is key because it gets into all the little nooks and crannies that you don't even see. This is just after the first pass, so for comparison you got this to this. Look at this, how disgusting everything is. This is the first pass. You know? Well guys, here's the, the final look, completely dry. Big transformation. So as you can see guys, I already started adding a couple of things from the coupe. First of all, the Spoon Sports mirror. And this mirror makes all the difference like it makes the back view so great um i put my steering wheel also had to put in the big boy a dog fight um cup holder like i said if you have an eg and you don't have one of these and you 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 put in your drinks down there you're missing out this is a game changer all right guys we're here the next day it's another hot one today is currently saturday yesterday we worked on that car and i wanted to say honestly i feel like i'm in a very good spot because those cars right now with no rust are selling between like the the six seven nine thousand and i paid as you know 35 because the work in the front wasn't completed but i'm averaging maybe i'll spend another 1500 to get the front end completely aligned paint it and then blend it into the other car and i'll probably be in like around the 5000 and i already have my brakes you saw i put a lot of nice stuff we got the car running good so i'm, I'm feeling good i feel like you know at the end of the day it did turn out to be a great deal not a great deal a good deal but today we're cleaning out my brother's car because he wants a detail and that's my specialty you know he always does all the mechanical stuff for me so it's, he wants it detailed it's gonna get detailed to the max but it is very clean I'm gonna say that already and you can see how unmolested it is let me bring you inside these usually have a lot of rust on them they're just a little dirty as you can see has a, a, a some spots but it's absolutely nothing crazy or nothing out of the ordinary so as far as like detailing it, you know, it's not gonna be crazy work, but you know, we're gonna get it done for him. So first thing first is to do a little vacuum and then we go from there. Yeah guys, we bought this this vacuum on Black Friday. We got a great deal. This thing's a monster, the rigid, the big boy. I think it was under 50 bucks. And this thing's a, 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 a monster, so if, you, if you know, can't highly recommend this. This the rigids. They're they're amazing vacuums. So, 
Enough talking, let's get to it. Alright guys, so what we have here for extracting, we have the Bizzle Little Green and then we have the Pro here. I've made a whole video about how I got both of these for under what this one costs new. We have our sprayer with Chemical Guys Interior Cleaner, Chemical Guys Brush with a Milwaukee. What you do is, you hit the whole thing and like I say, I always say this, you'll always hear me say it. You cheap out on your quantities of product, you're not gonna get the same results. Don't be cheap with your product. Spray this thing down so we can get the best results. Well, this is the fun yet annoying part. You know, it's hard to do on camera because you need preferably both hands. So I'm just gonna show you. You see that stain right there? That's, see you use good product, you use a lot of it, that's what you want. You want that foam, You that's what's cleaning the interior, you know what I'm saying? So don't cheap out, don't just give it a little spray and be happy with it. Go all out. So let me get this whole thing uh, scrubbed out. Now we're going into the extracting. I'm using the Pro for this. Uh, pretty much this presses the button, it squirts out water. This end sucks it. The rule of thumb is that you keep on doing it until the water that's coming through here is clear. So let me give you an example. Okay. So as you see here, we had that big stain, which is pretty much gone now. finished result for this end looks pretty good also while you got the seat off you always make sure you know you clean up the the parts that you can't get when the seat is on too so you know it completely looks better all right guys this is everybody's favorite part even though the interior didn't look too crazy this is what the water looks like what the mixture looks like so dirty but it was dirty after on the sea I didn't do it too crazy because you already know probably some 
TSR or LS seats are gonna go in here. These stock seats, are, they suck. They sit up high. And, but we gave them a clean anyway. So let me just finish out the whole car and I'll show you the finished results. As you can see, we're done with the car. It looks and smells amazing. But I'm gonna finish it off with this to eliminate any of the smells. So let's get to it. Alright guys, my brother just got back from work. Um, horrible day under that sun all day. Maybe took like three hours to detail the car. So, uh, let's see what you think. Open it up, tell me what you think. And we did the car bomb, tell me what you think of the smell. It smells definitely smells better. And definitely a little cleaner but you was telling me it wasn't that dirty but you could tell the difference yeah now and you could definitely smell the difference that's one thing you could definitely smell now you can see it's on a whole nother level yeah so we use the new car scent it smells like it it smells good in here you know, but me being me, since the car sat for so long, I'm probably gonna do another one. Just just to be safe. We did the, um, on the bubble, and it still smells a little bit. The bubble had like a weird smell. For one, they, it smelled like they were hot box in the car. It's a mix of weed and vomit. So I got the weed smell out, but it still smells like vomit. I think that the vomit smells coming from the carpet. Obviously, I gotta extract it, but I'm not gonna do it now. This it is like super hot, and this took up all my energy. But um, it smells great. It looks great in there. I think right now, if we were to get this car running, like because it still um needs to do the brakes. If if he wanted to flip it again, he probably could <laughs> probably triple his money the way the interior looks. We clean the exterior out, but obviously we're not gonna do that. You know, this is a gem. So, yeah. And right okay. now, I'm gonna try to bring the, the audio to 2022. And uh, change it. As you can see, it's the old school Pioneer radio. Still functions and everything, but if getting a better Pioneer, newer. Yeah, that's the one that was in Peggy. Yeah. I gave it to him. It's a uh, Bluetooth, uh, Oh, all the modern stuff so and it's already um 2021 and it's since it wasn't peg it's already it's plug and play so i pray this is not cut in the back if not when i go to the junkyard i'll just uh clip the original but since they're one pioneers the maybe the plugs is the same but this is newer and this old yeah but pioneer doesn't really change the plugs and then i gotta put the mic run the microphone um, I'm still waiting for some parts for the rear since I'm going rear disc brakes. I gotta order e brakes and everything, e brake cables. Uh, I got my front EBC disc and my Hawk uh, brake pads for the front. That was around $300 right there. But for, hey, F it, right? And then uh, I'm thinking of changing the wheel bearings too. That's why the car's registered, insured, and everything. It's just that I'm, I'm being uh, very picky with stuff. If I'm changing one thing and I want to drop it, I might as well change all the camber kits, uh, toes, everything in one shot. Done. Don't have to worry about it. Get it aligned. Make sure I don't get no tire uh, negative or positive camber. Nothing. Everything straight as possible. After I'm dropping and everything, I'm going to rock it out automatic. And I'm going to focus more on that. Today I got my sandblasting media and I uh, got the oil for the compressor. I probably try to a little, do a little piece to see how it works. Probably, but that sun killed me today, so I doubt it. But let's see how everything goes. 
And yeah, guys, we had a nice little surprise. My mother, my brother went and got this for me. He went and picked it up for me for the bubble. But that's for the next video. So tune in, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.